Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's City Program webinar. Today's topic is Design with the End in Mind and will be presented by Michelle Poulos from ECPI University. Michelle Poulos has been in education for the last two decades, working in elementary, secondary, and post-secondary settings. She has a BA in elementary education, an MED in psychology, and is currently finishing her PhD in psychology. She has learned and taught in traditional and online environments. She currently serves as the Dean for the College of Arts and Sciences at ACPI University. And she was recently initiated into Marcus's Who's Who in America for 2022. She resides in Naples, Florida with her husband, son Trenton, and daughter Eliana. By the end of this webinar, you will be able to describe the Understanding by Design Framework, identify the three stages of the backward design process, explain the significance of starting with desired outcomes, and explain why assessment is the central point of the backward design process. We begin the backward design process by planning assessments before instruction. We start with identifying the desired results. Determining what students will know and be able to do before the unit or lesson is taught improves the chances that the strategies and activities we plan have the greatest impact on achieving the desired results. Therefore, assessment becomes an important piece of the planning puzzle, not so that we teach to the test, but that we teach the content in such a way that when students are assessed, along the way, at the end, we will know what students have learned and what they can do with that learning. Also, I invite you to review our content offerings regularly as we continue to add new courses and webinars in various areas of research, ethics, compliance, and professional development throughout the year.